rubber bands that are here for me. And a C clip or an S clip. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to first rubber band. And you want to wait. You want to put it from this peg. Yeah, is this peg to that peg? So this peg to that peg. This is what for maybe a diagonal. And then you should put a rubber band like that. This to there. Grab your next rubber band, put it here to there. This is what you should form. If yours doesn't look like that, then it's wrong. So then you want to keep doing that all the way to the end. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna see if you guys can try it by yourself. Because uh, now I um, might do uh, maybe two more to do. So this peg to that. And one more time, and then I'm doing it. Then if I scroll it, so like that. If you want to do a pattern, that's okay. Because this is meant for patterns, but I'm just doing rainbow. It's meant for anyway. It forms V's, M's, and W's, but mostly W's more than M's. There's a plenty of purple bands. And then for the last one, when you have two more pegs, you don't want to put anything there. And you should have one more peg left. So you want to do have this and form it like that. And this is what the room should look like. Okay. And then I'm going to put my C clip on that triangle thing. The last door we're going to be put. Like that. Just put the C-clip on. Then we'll grab it and you see that you get The yellow one, this yellow one, and you loop it up to there. Then you loop the white one up to here, the blue up to here, then this blue up to here, up to there. Then it keeps going. So you want to get the yellow, and you want to loop it here. You want to grab the white one, so you want to push all those back. Like this, and grab white one. And if the yellow one comes off, all you have to do is just get your hook back into it, and then like a like that. Okay. Then you can do the rest on your own. Then 
make sure you loop all of them or else it won't come out the correct way. And it should come out like the example was this. This is the way it's supposed to come out. If it doesn't come out that way, it's wrong. And if it's wrong, it's you don't get the formal place of it the, the, the correct way. And then if a rubber band comes out, like, wait, where was I? I was right here. If it comes out, you just want to lift that up. You just want to put it where it was. So back to the diagonal, and then you want to put the, whatever color you did back on top. And then you have it back. Okay, and after you're done looping it, you want to get it and you want to take it off. So, this is what it should be forming. And it's done. And I like to spin it around my arm and then my finger to get it. And these rubber bands eventually break. Oops. Okay, then that's this is your bracelet. And I hope you had a good time doing this bracelet. So give this a thumbs up. Bye.